Hello, it's Ricardo, and I'm still playing Elite Dangerous. Beyond. Now, the Guardian sites are getting an awful lot of interest at the moment, and I visited one recently uh, and did a video on that when it was first deployed when the update dropped a couple of weeks ago. But despite that, I thought I'd go and head on over and take a look at one of some of the other bases, of which there are three currently at the moment, um, where you have the information orb. So I thought I'd head on over to the Col 173 sector, QU OD 6 25. And I'll put all that in the comments. Now, as you can probably see or have a look at, the architecture effectively the same, though the layout of the base is distinctly different. The positioning of the data pylons that you activate once you put a relic near the central device are different. They're not as symmetrical as what they were in some of the other systems. All that being said though, it's not too hard to turn around and, you know, find them. You just have to drive around with the, the main structure activated, and once it is activated, they'll start to eventually erupt out of the ground. And I think you can have a, you can have a good look at this sort of thing as well from using the external camera and having an external camera vantage point. Landing close to the, the Guardian structure is pretty straightforward. There are some spaces in this particular system, on this particular planet, um, as opposed to some of the other locations where it'll be you know, difficult to land your ship, even though I'm back in the ASP. I was going to bring the Anaconda over, although some people on my Discord server were turning around and saying, oh, don't take your Anaconda over there. You'll have to park miles away and drive to the... And it's, it's just a nightmare. So generally as well, you're going to find the obelisks that are going to give you some sort of data and information. But what you're generally there for, right? You're there for that weapon blueprint, aren't you? Well, that's what we're all here for. We're not here for the benefit of our health. And yes, it's a lovely set piece that Frontier Developments have put in the game for us. But that's what we're after. We're after Guardian weapons. And this is going to be a right old bit of a grind to go and make sure you get all the requirements and all the, the blueprint segments for those weapons so you can then go to a Guardian tech broker and get that weapon constructed. So you're going to find dotted around this area, you're going to find urns, you're going to find totems. I went to one of the older Guardian sites and picked up two of each anyway as part of the old Ramtar mich uh, mission. So I have a cargo hold full of alien artifacts that I can use to manipulate the obelisks and gain some data. It goes without saying these Guardian Sentinels, they're the new pain in the, in the commander's proverbial rear. As soon as you drive past the location, they're going to spawn, they're going to spawn up and they're going to attack you. They're going to give you the benefit of some sort of like plasma burst and if you're really unlucky and you haven't shot them quick enough, you're going to get them to fire missiles and they'll take your shields out and knock you about a bit. But all this we've seen in the, in the, the past videos and it goes without saying that you know it's, it's quite a bleak area you know sometimes it's shrouded in mist sometimes it isn't depending on the time of day when you hit to come to the guardian site you're also going to find power conduits as well hidden around in the structures as we found in some of the other videos also by destroying the guardian sentinels you're going to get guardian technology as well which you can then scoop up and as you can see on the screen this is one of the eruption points for one of the pylons that you have to shoot in order to charge the system. So as you're driving around, find one, zoom up, get your bearings. Get your bearings so you know where it is. Have a look around it as well. See if there's any items around that you can manipulate against some of the, the obelisks that are found nearby. Now, typically, I've found the graphics at these Guardian sites be really good. I find it very atmospheric. I find it lends itself nice to the storyline of the game. Though, you know, it is, like I said, a little bit grindy. Um, you know, and as you can see, going back to decode those obelisks and going, going back and forth and back and forth your ship to do it can be a little bit laborious. But then again, nothing should come easy in the game. 
I think if you cast your mind back to the games of old, back in the 80s, where it was three lives and that was the end of it, you know, now we as gamers, I think we expect, you know, things to run a little bit more logically, a little bit more, you know, hand to hand. The decoding of those obelisks though, are pretty straightforward once you've got a good cargo of all the items in your ship. You can just keep popping back and forth like you did in some of the other Ram Tower missions and decoding that, that data. The pylons that you have to shoot and charge up to activate the device, as I've said, erupt from the ground once you activate the two main pylons um, up by the central structure. This central structure will then spew forth an orb, which you can then scan using the data link scanner on your SRV. Now, once you've shot all the pylons and you can see the big cross in the middle of the ground there with the receptacle holder for a relic, a relic has got to go in there. So be warned, you need to get a relic, get it over there. And I usually go and collect one and drop it off near to the, the area. I then go around, I shoot all the pylons obviously once I've found them, and it'll take you a couple of goes to get the, the lay of the land of this map. And then shoot the guardians, go back, put that into the, um, into the receptacle, that relic into the receptacle, and then you're in business. Now, finding the other pylons and where they could potentially erupt from the ground is pretty straightforward and you can you can deduce that by from an aerial view using the camera however on this particular map it's not as symmetrical as what the other guardian site i went to was which i think was um the six six three five hd six three five um location because one of the pylons is slap bang right in the center of the map. You've got the two at the top next to the structure, then you've got two either side, left and right of the um, of the area. Okay, and then you've got one in an annex right down the bottom. And then the final one, the sixth one, which took me a bit of time, there you are, is right slap in the center. So that effectively is something to be a little bit weary of. Okay, so once you get to it, same old gear, shoot it, all your pylons will then be charged, and then it's time for you to get yourself over to the main structure. As it says, everything's charged, and um, drop that relic off in the receptacle. Now you are going to be attacked by guardians and guardian sentinels. Uh, that goes without saying. And i got to say it, I mean, these guardian sentinels, I mean... More aggressive, let's face it, more aggressive than their Thargoid counterparts. I mean, with the Thargoids, you've seriously got to go over there and, and give them a bit of damage before they're going to turn around and get all aggressive. They just carry on doing their own little thing, don't they? But these, it's attack straight away, which makes you wonder, hmm, are the Thargoids the bad ones? You don't know, there could be a huge twist, a huge plot twist coming here. Now I've activated the central structure, and as you can see, the, the orb has erupted from its, its, its resting place on that sort of altar-like structure. If we zoom back as well, you get the entire sense and scope of an activated alien base. I mean, no matter how many times I do see it, I do think it is quite a spectacular in-game event and set piece. And you can see there, you know, the dispersion of the pylons and their location on this particular map. But yeah, great. It would be interesting to see, you know, a hidden guardian structure somewhere that's still working and not, you know, an ancient ruin. Like a bastion of guardian civilization somewhere far off in the galaxy somewhere. Um, that you could eventually get to and see all this stuff in its prime. Now that would be something. Anyway, there you go. I'm going to go and scan that ancient data terminal and get my Guardian blueprint. And there you go. I've got my segment. Time to rinse, repeat and do it again. I've been Ricardo and this has been the Guardian Ruins in the Coal 173 sector. 
Thanks very much for watching and check back soon for more videos. And if you haven't already done so, hit that notification and subscribe link and help me out that way. That would be fantastic. See you soon. Fly safe.